Hello everyone, you are welcome to the fourth episode of the base plate um, design calculation. In the third episode, we started the design of the base plates. In the second episode, we did the analysis, and in the first, we did the load calculation. So, in the last where we started, we we were only able to do one of the two designs. You know, the first design is calculating the uh, the area, while the second is calculating the thickness. So, we have actually um, designed the area, and we designed the area to be 300 mm by 300 mm. So now we need to know what the adequate thickness is okay <coughs> so we have to just rush that um in order not to waste too much of our time okay um the first thing to know is um you you have to select a grid for your for your base plates so i will select grid s20 um i will select grid 275 okay so i'll say i'm using grid 275 um why am i selecting a grid is because i actually need the design strength okay so uh, we select grade 275 and i will assume that the thickness is not uh greater than uh 40 mm okay 40 mm so i will use this so if you check your euro code or even the bs code you know your your design strength is actually a function of your or uh, is a function of your or your thickness okay so if it is less than 16 mm if it is between 16 mm and 40 mm you have uh, something like that okay so if you check that um you know what let me just try to look for it and then we check it together so that we can be on the same page okay so um this is what i you know just check this from my drive so um design strength so this is table 4.3 of this table but you can actually check bs code 5950 table 9 um i don't know where you find it in euro code so but you will find it there too okay there is similarity in that so between 1 and 16 mm you should have your design strength of 275 because the higher the thickness the lesser the design strength okay so you can be more conservative with 40 all right so um that's why i've chosen that okay my thickness is actually between 16 mm and 14 mm and for any thickness between 16 mm and 40 mm the design strength is meant to be 265 okay so that is the purpose of choosing a grid okay you can see my grid 275 if you are using grid 355 and a thickness of less than 40 you are expected to have this strength design strength okay my design strength is equal to 265 newton per millimeter squared okay so that's all i need from the grid selection so i'll just go into the formula of getting the formula for a base plate basically a base plate with uc section if your base plate has a, a if you have a column that is circular maybe a pipe or your your chs or anything the formula is actually different the thickness of base plate let me say thickness of plate tp the formula is equal to c multiplied by 3 omega or w divided by design strength okay we have calculated our c earlier to be 2.8 okay and then 3 multiplied by w w is simply is the bearing um, pressure okay which is 0 0.6 multiplied by 15 okay if you still remember the 15 is fcu and the 0 0.6 is the factor provided by uh euro code and then you divide that by your py which is your design strength which we just verified to be 265 so my calculated uh thickness of base plate is even less than one so i'll just say approximately one millimeter but there's no how i'll even tell them to use one millimeter on site they cannot even achieve one millimeter so i will just tell them to use uh 10 millimeters okay so i'll say provide 10 millimeter base plates okay so um the conclusion of our base plate design is that designed plan area design plane area is 300 mm by 300 mm and the thickness the designed thickness is 10 mm right so we are having uh something like this
so from here to here 300 from here to here 300 and from here to here 10 okay so um that is all for the base plate design um the next will be the uh anchor design okay because we also need to design the anchor we need to know the adequate number we need to know what the the size should be maybe 12 mm or 16 mm we also need to know um the spacing between the uh, the bars okay and then even though we have calculated our base plate we also need to know the position where we need to put the the boots you understand we don't want it to be very close to the edge of the base plate so that it cannot just break out you know you can have edge breakout you can have bearing you can have uh, you know pull out and all that so we will be doing that uh that will be uh, in the part two so for now we'll just stop here in the base plate design and then next week we'll pick up from uh from there so we have to do the uh the anchor design then we will round it up for this um for this um for this topic so uh thank you for watching uh and see you in the part two of this design so uh, thank you